how to download CurseForge. First thing we need to do is find the CurseForge download page. And while I'm searching for it, download CurseForge, I want to remind you to like the video and subscribe if this helps you out. Now, once you're here, go ahead and click the download CurseForge app link on Google. This is the page and what it should look like. If you can't find it, we also have it linked in the description down below. We have an in-depth guide here. Click this download CurseForge link there and it will take you right to the same page. Then go ahead and click on download standalone and the download will begin. It should just download like any other program here. We can click save, you're good to go. Now with it downloaded, we can get it installed again like any other program. Go to your downloads folder and double click on CurseForge Windows installer. It will open up the CurseForge installer, right like so, where we can just go ahead and click next. Click that you agree to the terms of service and are 18. If you're not, unfortunately, you can't use this app. And then click next here, and it will now download CurseForge and install it. Whilst doing that, have a quick message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. If you want to start a Minecraft server and start playing Minecraft with your friends in just a few minutes, there's one click installation of things like CurseForge mod packs. And you can even add individual CurseForge mods to your server super easily. So check it out, first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, with it installed, we can make sure that we leave this unchecked. We do not want to do this and then click finish. Now the CurseForge app will open. I'm specifically partial to Minecraft with CurseForge. That's what I've always used it for, but this will work for other games as well. And it's my understanding if you have the other games installed, for example, Sims 4 or Pal World, it will be able to find those. You might need to locate the game and scan for it, but you can then add mods to it using that. Same for even World of Warcraft. If you're using it for Minecraft though, just go ahead and click on it. Make sure standard is selected, click continue, and now you can do everything you want. Go over to discover, for example, to find all the different stuff that you can add and create here. If you wanted to download a mod pack, like our mod pack, not a fine, you can just search it and then click install. You can also download other mod packs, like all the mods 10, all the mods 11, buy better Minecraft, all of that stuff. And you can even create your own profiles here. For example, we can make this a fabric profile, and we can add fabric mods to this by going to add content here and selecting the mods that we want. So it's that easy to add and create mods and do all that stuff with CurseForge, but uh, you now have it, you've downloaded it, and it's up to you to use it however you want. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.